Our second reading comes from St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, in times past, God spoke in partial and various ways to our ancestors through the prophets. In these days, he has spoken to us through the Son, whom he made heir of all things, and through whom he created the universe, who is the refulgence of his glory, the very imprint of his being, and who sustains all things by his mighty word. When he had accomplished purification from sins, he took his seat at the right hand of the majesty on high, as far superior to the angels as the name he has inherited is far more excellent than theirs. For to which of the angels did God ever say, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Or again, I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. And again, when he leads the firstborn into the world, he says, Let all the angels of God worship him. The Word of the Lord Thanks be to God.